Oh, look at the little squirrel. Hi, squirrel. Can I grab the squirrel? I cannot grab the squirrel. Okay, can I shoot the squirrel with a high-powered shotgun? You can do that. Fun fact, they use the same AI for the squirrels that they do for the bad guys. That's why whenever a bad guy dies, he shouts, Aw, nuts. Crisis 3. Maximum crisis. Post-human warrior. Unforgiving. Don't even try it. Okay, I won't try post-human warrior. Deadly enemies? Oh, no thanks. Increased lethality. Oh, God. A solid experience. Ugh. Victory costs. How much? Five bucks? Six bucks? Three dog tags? That's a pretty good price. I can run on down to the old military surplus store and buy several victories for like ten dollars. You remember friendlies? Yeah, they have ice cream that looks like Frankenstein. Man, it's really hard to use computers in the future. I don't know why they decided to make all those screens transparent and have the UI just be a bunch of weird audio waveforms. It'd be a lot easier for no. Oh no, crisis! There comes a time in every crisis's life where he must choose to go up the stairs like a normal person or become sus. I saw crisis vent in medbay. Impossible. He has a cloak. You wouldn't have seen that. Crisis here. I got you a bow and arrow. They're all the rage these days. Everybody has a bow and arrow in the game for some reason. This trend will end in like three years, but for now you gotta have one. Oh no, we gotta hack stuff now? Crisis did not need a hacking minigame. Rise Son of Rome, however, did. I'm just a sneaky little crisis guy. I'm going to shoot a bow at you, then you die. I missed. Did someone hear a really catchy tune? Ugh. I'm throwing this guy into the power turbine. Goodbye. Oh, he didn't go in. He just got stuck on the lip. Crisis 3 is the only game that gives you the ability to throw enemies, a giant laser turbine, and then you can't combine the two. Crisis sucks. Hey, bad guy. I saw this on an episode of Rick and Morty. It was the acid pit episode. It wasn't that good. Man, I can't hold my gun steady. This elevator is not shaking that much. I don't really know what's going on with my hands. Take a look at this crisis. We went back to having trees in our game. With this type of anti-aliasing, we'll win game of the year for sure. All oh, hell crisis. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? There's several towers darted around the landscape. We have to go to each one and disable them. You know how much I've sacrificed to stop the Seth. I had to play crisis one and two. And I didn't just stop halfway through, I had to play the entire alien part of both games. Pick up the bolt sniper. Oh, alien gun. Take those 5G towers down, hell yeah. The only nanobots I want in my bloodstream are ones that give me maximum armor. Why does the gun have snow camo? It just has cool hexagon pattern on it. Look, at, look how cool it looks. It's not the best skin, but you know, it's better than most of the default skins. It's not better than like Red Tiger, but you're going to use it until you unlock Red Tiger. Is there more emphasis on stealth in Crisis 3? There probably is, but you're not going to figure it out from watching this stream though. Because every game these days is like, oh, you can go loud or use stealth to tackle your foes. It's like, look, using stealth attack on my foes takes like six hours. I have work tomorrow. I can't, I can't be doing this in every game. Please move out of the way. There's a game I'd like to play. I want to shoot the bad guys with my gun. Why won't you just let me have fun. In Crisis 2, they had a handsome Jack talking to you the whole game. In this one, they have a real person who stands in front of doorways. It's a big downgrade if you ask me. Uh, Crisis 2-3, we've detected the player is having fun with Crisis 3. Uh, roger that command. We're gonna go ahead and deploy the alien part. Well, you can ride a zip line. Okay, Crisis 3 rocks. This is the best game ever. Never mind, you can't shoot while using the zip line. If you could shoot while you're on the zip line, then it would be good, but as is, it kind of sucks. Thomas and friends on the island of Sodor. One day, Crisis came and pushed Thomas into a bomb so he would blow up a door for him. Thomas was happy to help, as always. I don't think he realized he would explode and die. Cell's golden goose rests at the Zuckerman Energy Zuckerman, I knew it was Zuck. I never did trust Meta. They have cool VR glasses, but at what cost? Hack turrets to turn them against your foes. Thanks, System Shock. You stupid bad guys, you just got killed by System Shock 1. Get over here and put some foot in that ass. What? How do you possibly interpret that command? Sam will probably try and turn this whole area into a kill zone. Don't worry, they can't turn it into kill zone. Kill zone's a PlayStation exclusive, and I'm playing this on PC. Ha ha ha. You know what this game looks like? There's so many like trees and water and rain effects, but it, it just something is off about it. It looks like you're walking through a rainforest cafe instead of a real place. A rainforest cafe full of alien animals, dude. I would go to that. The elephant has like a Terminator eye and he like shoots water at you. He's like, target locked. <laughs> Hold X to use? Can you get in it? Oh no, you just push it. I want it, come on. Let me stand in that. Yeah, there we go. Man, Crisis series has no original ideas. Like, look at this. This is an exact copy of Stop the More Boozak. Welcome to Bad Guy Industries. Please don't pull our weird tube. That will shut down our entire company. Oh no, you did it. Why did we make a tube that kills our entire faction? That's a Rakshi. 
That's a bionicle rock she had. Oh no, a giant blue laser going into the sky. How many blue lasers are gonna show up in New York City? This is like the fifth one this month. The aliens were red in Crisis 2, now they went back to being blue. Uh, pick a lane, aliens. You can't just use both colors on the 3D glasses. Hold Y to look. Wow, that's a nice burning building. Whoa. Good thing there was a hold Y to look, I might have missed that. This game's a little too immersive, I don't know how much longer I can play this thing. It's making me think I'm really there. You see, that's what happens when you play Crisis 3 too much. Your head will literally catch on fire. My god. Dot, 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 my god. That's how you know the situation has gone totally AWOL. Rebel Lady cut Psycho out of his nanofiber skin? That is a huge plot twist. That is insane. I had to listen to their screams day after day after day. Dot, 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 my god. Is there a missile guy? Yeah, there he is. Oh, I jumped over his missile. That was cool. I did a cool move in Crisis on accident. Why is Cell still fighting? Because they're the bad guys. I mean, if the, if the world was going to get blown up and you couldn't do nothing about it, might as well go have a giant war just for fun, you know? Hey, guys, check it out. I found this new cool tank game for the Game Boy Advanced. It's got pretty good graphics for a Game Boy game. Prophet, we've got Rash. We've got Rash. Copy that. I'll pick you up some medicated cream. What? The evil it's German powering. scientist man was the evil guy? I would have never guessed. Oh. Dot, 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 oh my god is right. <laughs> and now, young Claire and Psycho, you will die. <laughs> F, 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 dash, dash, what was that? What was that subtitle? And I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. Crisis 1 was pretty good, but the other games are bad. No, Claire's dead. I can't believe she died. What happened to her? She looks fine. Oh yeah, I guess Palpatine did lightning her like two seconds ago. I already forgot. Hey, Crisis, you want to move your hands when the gun is shooting, maybe? You just want to leave him sitting there? Okay, that's fine. It's my bad for having the game on too high FOV. <laughs> you just make a toilet flushing sound? Now we're inside the flood ship. Gotta find Cortana. Cortana, there better not be any of those stupid flood turret forms by your base. Whatever happened inside that sphere, really... Oh my god. Shut up, Grave Mind. I'm trying to find Cortana. She's gotta be the bad guy in Halo 5. I can use their power against them. It's so simple. All I gotta do is use their power against them. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. Sorry, blue laser. We can't let you take over the world. No, cheat commandos. This wasn't my doing. It was Crisis 3, I swear. Tell it to the judge, blue laser. Cheat commandos, rock, rock on. All right, time to kill the rock sheet. I really think that somebody at Crytek was into Bionicles, because in... <laughs> In Crisis 2, they had Makuta. Makuta was one of the enemies, and now this guy is just a rock she had. I refuse to believe otherwise. Crap, he's gonna kill me, he's gonna kill me, he's gonna kill me. Doing this whole battle again is definitely one of the layers of hell. What? What? I have to redo the whole thing? Hey, look, it's a, it's a layer of hell, just like I predicted. All right, I got the pinch rifle. It'll do in a pinch. It has no ammo, never mind. It shouldn't let you grab guns that have no ammo in them. All right, let's try it. Out of ammo? Oh my god, why is everything out of ammo? It really it kills the pacing of your epic final battle when you're just running around trying to look for bullets the whole time. Game. Sorry, Crisis. I can't allow you to leave this game alive. If you survive, the Crisis franchise might go on. They might actually announce Crisis 4. When profit fails, what's left? I don't know. Hopefully not another Crisis game. Oh, it's Prophet. He got out of the suit. Good job, Prophet. Wait, so he took Alcatraz's body and, like, nanoed it into looking like him? Because he was a ghost possessing Alcatraz. So he got out of the suit and then changed Alcatraz's body to be him. Remember me. I'd rather not. I'd rather play the game Remember Me, honestly. And that game's not even good. Fighting horde after horde of similar enemies just becomes tedious. 